Well, the city says it needs to repave a Kaimuki parking lot, and that'll take away a whole lot of stalls, more than half of them during the work. And that has business owners in the area worried the customers are going to stay away. Nikki Shenfeld has more. It's already difficult to find parking here in Kaimuki, so nearby business owners are very concerned that work on this parking lot for the next eight months will impact their business. It will take almost one year for this 108 stall parking lot to be repaved. The, you know, when I, they say eight months, really, why does it have to take eight months? Like, we're talking about one parking lot here. Like, I don't, I don't understand why it would have to take so long. Business owners say the same parking lot was fully closed two years ago for a little over one month. Their businesses were severely impacted by that closure. They repaved it and it was beautiful, and I don't know why they need to do it again, but um, that was not great for my business. I was 40% down then. So, and that wasn't close to eight months. So, it's a little worrisome. This time, the city says it will keep some stalls open to the public, but workers say most of those stalls will go to construction crews. So, they would come in, you know, before actual viable customers are walking the streets, park a stall there, and they would just feed the meter all day long. And so, there goes, you know, the, the limited stalls that we had here are now being consumed by construction workers. The city says the timeline takes into consideration the parking lot being open. And that this work is more labor intensive. It will consist of full reconstruction pavement, new curb ramps, signage, lighting, and landscaping. It, it is concerning and excessive. I'm not sure exactly what they're going to do with that parking lot. Um, but, you know, anytime you close down, even for a day, it's an inconvenience for your customers and you're going to lose a sale, which means, you know, the business is going to have a harder time, you know, paying their employees, paying their rent, paying for health care, and all these other associated costs with doing business here in Hawaii. The project is set to begin March 16th. And we'll follow up with the business owners once the project begins. From Kaimuki, Nikki Schoenfeld, KH12 News, working for Hawaii. All right, let's talk about our island.